Have you seen the Windy City Rollers in action yet? Well, for this Watch312.com exclusive, we're going to show you an in-depth look into our elite women's roller derby team right here in Chicago. From all the great moves and exciting play, there is no doubt there is no sport anywhere around like it. So, let's hear from one of the industry insiders and the what makes these ladies so special. You know what? It's unique. These are strong women. They're super athletic. And pretty. They're super smart. And they're, yeah, sure, they're pretty. <laughs> um, and you know what? They're all real women with real lives and real careers. And they do this and they care so much about it. It's an all volunteer thing. So there's a heart, there's heart. The Windy City Rollers All Star team put on a great performance against the visiting Tampa Bay Tangers. They were playing great on all cylinders, and before halftime, they clearly had this game won, leading 58 to nothing. The final score, it was nowhere near close. The Windy City Rollers All Star team took care of Tampa 196 to 42. No matter what the score is, the fans will tell you there's nothing else like coming out to check out women's roller derby. The atmosphere is great. There's, uh, I've got the crowd cheering. It's, the girls are tough and cute. Even after you hear from the fans, you have to listen in from the voice of the All-Star team as he'll tell you specifically on why you can't miss women's roller derby. It's a lot of fun watching the Windy City Rollers play. It's hard hits. It's women. It's graceful and hard impact at the same time. I mean, they're hardcore athletes. These women train. They train four or five days a week. And then they have their regular jobs, too. They're not getting paid to do this. They're doing this because they love it. They're not doing it because it's a big check. They're just doing it because they love it. I'm Bryant Mumble, the announcer of the Windy City Rollers. And this is a very fun time to come out with the family, come out and have a good time. Check out the Windy City Rollers. But after all that being said, and all the great play we've seen the entire evening, there was one star who shined very bright. And that was Mo Vengeance of the second win team. She put on an incredible performance to lead the team from behind to defeat the visiting Bleeding Heartland from Indiana. Your highlights as we show this package is going to be unbelievable. I mean, how did it feel when you were out there when you had to go on that fast? It was unbelievable for us watching. Yeah, I mean, well, immediately after I got goosebumps, right? <laughs> um, but I mean, it really is just like a focus. You lose yourself and you kind of you have to look for like the open pulls, you know? Uh -huh. You look for your, your blue blockers and just kind of relax. And, you know, you just know you can't run into anybody yeah. or make any kind of penalties because that all is immediately gone. Yeah, your perseverance was excellent. Real quick, Mo, before we go, tell everyone why you, why you chose that awesome name, Mo Vengeance. Um, I, you know, I, I, it's, I don't have like a great story for it. Um, I like the name Mo because it's kind of gender neutral sounding and it's just more, 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 more. Well, you know more. what, you gave a whole lot of more tonight. Let me tell you, it was a pleasure watching you skate. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. We're very, very, very happy. After seeing all the great names and funny costumes, the only question that remains is when are you going to check out the Windy City Rollers? I'm David Martin for this Watch312.com exclusive.